So who actually creates open source software? I'm Christina Höpfner and I work here at Catalyst in the open source software project on Mahara. And I'm probably the only non-developer in this room, maybe. Oh, maybe we are two or three actually, I think. So sorry, I misspoke. Um, yeah, so who creates open source software? I think we always have the stereotype in there that it is a programmer, kind of male, with headphones sitting in a dark room in front of a computer screen and writing in a terminal all day long. But that is actually not um, always the case. And I'd like to burst that bubble a bit. Some of you might already know kind of which way I'm taking, especially if you take a look at my computer screen. Um, namely, there are many other people involved in an open source software project. And I'm talking from experience on our Mahara project uh, that I'm mostly involved in, uh, but I also see similar things, of course, in other open source projects. Because until we can actually have a developer do something, we need people who are interested in the software and who then can also give feedback. So in our case, creating an educational software that is being used by students and teachers, we of course need our users. And so we need students and we also still need teachers to work with the software to actually have a need for the software because without them, we don't even need to start programming or continue programming. Um, then we also need support team and that can be the frontline support oftentimes kind of helping um, students or teachers find certain buttons and not necessarily dealing with highly technical um, SQL queries or fixing things in the code. If you're getting kind of a bit more into the software itself, um, once people are interested in also contributing more than just uh, being users and giving their feedback, which is already really important, we have our contributors, often kind of our ninjas who report bugs, who tell us about new features, things they'd like to do with the software. We also have our security <coughs> guards. Those are the people reporting security bugs, information security researchers and the like, who make um, our software secure. Because while we do have good programmers within the community, we don't know everything. And therefore having other people kind of contribute to it from all sorts of fields, um, not just PHP developers, um, is very important. And of course then, once we get to the software, we have the backend developers, um, core developers that devil in the code um, and kind of write all the nice features that we see. But then we also need designers and in that category I also include business analysts and um, UX designers because they make things look pretty and help us get a good workflow into the functionality and not just have software there and people struggle through it trying to find their way around. Um, so without them, we can't actually live because people do want to see something that looks nice and not always necessarily look at a terminal or at a software that looks like the 1990s. But have a fresh interface, <laughs> be bootstrap, be used on many different devices, can be used on the desktop, but you can easily also go to a mobile phone or to a eventually also smartwatch at some point for certain applications. And then once our designers gave us the prettiness, we have the front-end developers who implement that with JavaScript, um, CSS, and HTML. But that's not where the bug stops, no. Once code is in code review, we have people who look at the code, who do peer review in order to make sure that as few bugs as possible go into a software project. And that also means that we need testers who test the software. Oftentimes, kind of being active as we are, we test our own software, our own code, and don't necessarily find uh, mistakes in there because we can't see our own mistakes. That's why it's good to have others. And we also have translators that um, make it possible for people around the world to use the software, and then also documentation writers. Not to forget also organizers of events such as these to popularize software, to tell people about new features, new things that have come up, use cases. And because we can't live without machines, we also have two automa or automated processes that make it possible to deploy things quickly or to have automated testing and things like that. And that, I think, is what makes out an open source community. It is not just the developers or p other people dabbling on the code side or on the servers, but 
it is everybody together who creates something, who makes the software work because um, by combining all of these jobs together, um, that's where we get a good software result. Now you can kind of as take home task, think about your own open source project or the one that you're involved in and see how many jobs of these you might have on um, taken on yourself or if you might be missing one or two and kind of might want to recruit some people for them. Thank you.